I'll, mm, oh, I want to tell you this story, but I think, have I, I don't know. Is it talking shit? I don't think so. I think it was just a misunderstanding. So, okay, funny. So I, you know, okay, going back to Carrier, because I have a funny story about that. We had a lunch date. Did I ever tell you this, how we had a lunch date? And I didn't yeah, know it was a date I, date. I, yeah, yeah. And he thought it was a date date. And I was like, oh. And I, oh. Sorry. Okay, so like here I am. I have this belief or this idea of that I know I'm going in as a work date. He knows he's going in as a date date. And I'm like, ah. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we came together and we had to like, actually have a discussion about whether or not this was a date or not and that led us to a conclusion of oh even though you wanted it to be and I didn't want it to be it it almost came in like we were coming from like a, we were having a completely different experience at this in the same experience and it became crazily like mind-blowing to me how this happens throughout life and it helped me solidify like okay we can go in with a knowledge or go in with a belief and then when it's actually meeting another force we actually have to contend with what we know and what we believe and this allows us to either take it with a grain of salt and like, or even with like a, a, um, a humorous position, or it allows us to like have our world shattered. What if in that moment I was like, oh, how dare you? I can't believe you thought this was a date. Why? Because I'm a woman. <laughs> and it's like, I could have been really upset about it. And I could have made it like, wow, Richard Carrier is such an awful person. He thought this was a date just because I'm a woman. If he had met Steve McRae, he would have known it wasn't a date. It was, and it, I was supposed to. I was, I was supposed to have lunch with him too. Actually, I think the same day, day, right? Yeah. Wasn't it like the same? He day? He wouldn't think it was a date with me. So that's sexist. Yeah, totally. I mean, hello. I was. I was. I, you know, I was like, well, Brittany and I had coffee. She didn't think it was a date. What the hell? I'm offended. No, no. It's, and by, by the way, we have similar discussions as well as well in that kind of stuff. Um, and, and we both realize. Look, I, I adore you. You adore. I think you hope that you adore me. Um, I do. And it sits on a, on an intellectual level. Um, it's just a. It's not. Like, it's, it's not even a question of. Oh, is it a date? No, it's two people having coffee. Talking about stuff they enjoy. That's it. Yes. Why people need to make it out to be more than that? I have no fucking idea. Yes. And not that, listen, yeah. in another world, if we had both mutually been attracted to each other enough to further that, um, we could have. And that's the thing. Adults could have. Older. Yeah. I mean, who cares? You know, <laughs> but, you know, I just didn't want to, yeah. you know, it wasn't my vibe. But it, like, it wasn't a consideration. Yeah. And, but here's the thing. It, 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 it it's, it's so much better because I, I, I you, you know that I care about you for you. You know, yeah. it's, it's, it's real. It's something that's palatable. Same. Um, no, when it's people hard, ask, it's hard to find. When people say like, "Oh, do you have any male friends?" I'm like, "I have plenty of dude friends, bro. Like plenty of boy friends." Like, you know what's funny though? Somebody Destiny did it. Destiny was like, "Go ask all your male friends if they'd have sex with you, though." And I was like, what? "Oh, in a heartbeat." Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Well, I don't think that changes anything really. But like at the yeah, same no, time, no. <laughs> at the same time, I do think I have <laughs> not. Well, I, it's like okay, are we like? I do, well, the thing is, like, I think you can be attracted. I hate this. Like, I hate this conversation because a part of me is like, yes, I have friends that I don't think about having sex with. But then I have yeah, yeah. I can think of a lot of scenarios and I'm like, yeah, why wouldn't we have sex in that scenario? Do you I know what I'm a saying? Lot more open to that. And, 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 I am. And, and reality and the reality is, I mean, the honest, the honesty is that, look, I'm looking for something very, very different and special. And I've had opportunities and I'm not going to take advantage of them. So when you say, you know, well, would you have sex? The answer would be no, because the, the, the thing is, I'm looking for what I'm looking for. And I want when I meet that person, I want that person to say, look, Steve's not sleeping around with everybody and you know and blah blah yeah. blah even and, and so I, I i'm looking for the, i know what i'm looking for does that make sense yes so it's, no, it's no slight it's no slight to you or anybody else no no we're all. looking for something um, specific because you know why we've been let me tell you when you have a career when you are single when you make your own money and when you've been in a long-term relationship before of any capacity and then you realize over time like you're really vibing with your life yes you feel loneliness and yes you want compatibility but when you're looking for something specific it almost becomes like at least for me a focus like i'm definitely looking for something i'm looking for something specific and when i meet that person everyone else right. will and just become that. You've been of doing course that for a while and we've talked about that many times and so mm -hmm. i i think people should respect that i think it should be praised um and by the way not to the point i watched this one person giving a ted talk i swear mm -hmm. to god this woman was giving a tech talks and she said i'm not high maintenance and she had like 29 stipulations for who a guy she would date i'm not even fronting it was like 29 30 stipulations. is that the lady who had like is this a ted talk or was this a show on it was a ted talk, it was a TED talk. What? You know, maybe you've seen it and she was and, and, and you know we all have certain things that look this person has to be trustworthy i get this but this person was like oh they have to own a boat they have to have their own home car make this much and it was yeah it was and i was like i was like girl you ain't gonna find shit you've just but that's fine. every man and that she has to be planet. fine with that she has to be fine with that she's because not high maintenance I'm people, like, oh, okay. okay you know can i say something i think i'm high maintenance in the way that i'm meaning oh, i have be. huh you would be is that what you just said oh, you'd be high maintenance <laughs> shit for <somebody. laughs> to them uh, god the, the, the whoever you end up with man or woman <laughs> 
God bless them. I, they have they have my respect. Okay. <laughs> Let me tell you, honestly, same. But like, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying leave me alone unless you and I want at least eighty percent compatibility. So like, I have a list of things where when I go on first yeah, dates with people, I literally just have questions. I ask them. Like, one guy went on a date with me a few months ago, and he legit insulted my like literal job. And he he's just like, why would anyone pay for your OnlyFans? I was like, I don't understand the question. He's like, porn is free. I was like. There's also naked pictures oh, of me on the God, internet for free. That's, oh, and I'm just like, I don't understand. Is that, that's like saying, why would someone pay for your Patreon to get special perks when you have all right. these videos already on YouTube? I'm I like, have Patreon. I don't have OnlyFans, but I mean, that's you know what stupid. I mean? Oh, it's Damn. silly. But listen to him. This man didn't understand why I didn't think we were compatible. I'm like, sir, you literally think my job's a joke. Right. Wait, uh, Brittany, you know, would you? I, I'm glad who's that you, Sam Hyde? I'm glad that you said, why do people keep asking I, me about I, Sam Hyde? I, I, that name sounds familiar, but right? I, you know, real quick, I am Go so ahead. happy that you said about 80% because when you mm. have a woman who says, oh, I want 100% compatibility, they're never going to be in a, in a healthy relationship because you don't grow together at that point. You're right. looking for you. You're looking for somebody. Okay. You're looking for you. You're I am looking for, for me who, for the record, but as close to me as I can get because no one's going to be me, boo-boo. Yeah, that's a good thing. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but, you, you, but, but you don't want somebody who's 100% compatible because there's no growth with each other. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, but I don't, I don't want, I don't want somebody like, I, like, for example, like I said, you know, neither one of us are going to date a white nationalist. We don't give a shit what they look like. I don't give a shit how you hot you are. If you have that kind of hate in your heart, yeah, the fuck would I want to? Honestly, date them, right? I even think so about some. I don't even think I could get it up for a white nationalist. I'm not sure. I don't think I could. It's not going to happen. I think it'd be really hard. You know, because I, 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 I'm, well, I'm a sapiosexual, so it's me. I have a, I turn off when I when totally. Like, so I mean, it doesn't Same. work for me. It just doesn't work for me. I, I can't. It just no. It's it's just nasty. Um, and so yeah, I think that uh, you know we all have our standards and what we're looking for, but we have to be able to at least adjust a little bit. And and that's what you said. Find find somebody like yourself, but. You know, you, you can't do this TED, uh, TED Talk woman. That was insanity. You're no. You're not going to find a guy like that. They don't, they don't exist. You, you, no, it's also you created like, something in your mind. It's like, it, well, you know what? That's what the fantasy is, though. The ideal partner is a creation of the mind. Yes. You know? So it's like, are you going to live in the fantasy? Now, look.